Hello! In this video, I'll just review some of the standard uh, I.O. redirection commands that uh, I explained in our previous video. Here we are, if you remember from our first Unix shell, um, we ended up at uh, Python for Data Science, my first directory uh, folder, like it's a directory we created. Uh, and I can see that by typing pwd. I can also ls in this directory and see the contents of it. And as you might remember, we had two files, fruits.txt and shakespeare.txt. We moved uh, into this directory. Now I'll use the cat command to display the contents of fruits.txt. Um, and I see that there's about eight, nine lines in there. Um, if I do the same thing to shakespeare.txt, we'll notice something interesting actually here that it's not going to fit in um, the shell, so it's going to quickly go through the file, all the 12,000 something lines in this file, and uh, it's going to bring me back uh, to the end of it, and I'll only see the end of the file. How do I get around this problem? There's another command called more in Unix, and as you might remember, the man uh, command uh, is another, yet another command in Unix to look up the manual pages of all these commands. So if I say man more, I'll see um, the description of the more command, for example. Or if I say man cat, I'll see the description of the cat command. So if I say man more, I'll see that this command is um, going to give me however much fits in my uh, Unix shell. So I can, instead of cat shakespeare.txt, I can say more shakespeare.txt, starting from the first line that starts with this is the 100 e-text file, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll see however much fits in my shell about that shakespeare.txt. So by just pressing the uh, space uh, key in my uh, keyboard, I can go through this file and look at uh, all the lines in this file. Or I can just get out of it using Q. So then there's a difference, right? We said cat shakespeare.txt, it goes through the whole file. We can't see the beginning of the file. We can, of course, scroll back up uh, using our mouse, but we don't want that. Uh, and we can also say more shakespeare.txt and see the file as much as fits in our shell. So. Why is this useful? Because we want to go through the file. And sometimes these longer files, we want to do something with it, right? Um, we want to maybe sort this file or count the lines in this file. So let's say I want to sort the contents of fruits. Sort is a Unix command. We can use it for quick data manipulation. I'll say sort fruits.txt. I'll see the contents of fruits.txt all, um, all sorted in alphabetical order. So now I'll take the sorted file, fruits.txt, and I'll save it to yet another file. The thing to use here is um, the standard out redirect greater than symbol. And I'll call that file fruits sorted dot txt. So I don't see anything in my standard out because I redirected the standard out to this file. If I cat fruit sorted.txt, of course we can just give the file name to the cat command as you've seen before, or cat actually can accept the input to come from a file that's redirected to it, like fruit sorted.txt. Here I'm doing an in input redirection, standard in redirection to come from fruit sorted.txt. I would see the contents of that file. So it's the same with the standard output of the command that be we've seen before. So the next thing I'll do here is to actually manipulate this file even more and get only the unique lines in this file. So I can um, look at fruitsorted.txt and get the unique lines in it. So here we see double apples, double peaches gone now. We only have apples, grapes, melon, oranges, peaches, and strawberries. Six lines there. So there are six types of fruits, unique fruit names in this file. If I'd like to save that to another file, 
I'd say unique fruit sorted.txt and redirect the output to um, fruits unique.txt. So I can quickly cat the contents of fruits unique. We see that uh, the say it's the same with the standard output of the command. Uh, if I ls now into my directory, I'll see four files. Instead of just fruits.txt and shakespeare.txt, I'll see fruits sorted and fruits unique.txt. Why would this be useful? Because there's a lot of Unix commands that I want to quickly save the outputs to a file and maybe count them. In this case, how would I count the number of unique fruits? That would be counting the number of lines in fruits unique.txt. And if you would remember in, from our earlier video, a wc command has a dash l option to give us just a, a um, number of lines in that file. So I would uh, say wc minus l or dash l and fruits unique.txt. It's going to give me six as the number uh, of the lines. So there are six unique file names uh, in the fruits.txt, in our original fruits.txt. So you could see that we are already doing some data exploration using Unix, com Unix commands. Right? We have um, we had a file with a bunch of fruit names. We wanted to see uh, how many unique fruit names are in that, or uh, we could see the sorted options of that. So we are doing something with this. Uh, if we treat that file as a data set, we are manipulating that data and exploring with it a little bit. So. I could also use this command. Let's say uh, I could use the who command in Unix. It shows me how many or who are logged into the Unix system I logged in at that time. If I just say who, I'll see three alt indexes because I have uh, three shells open. Um, I can just say redirect the output of this command into a file called names.txt. And I see here that. Um, all these names are saved into names.txt in my shell. Uh, how would I use that? I might maybe go through that and email all the users logged into the users at that time. Um, there are lots of Unix commands that take advantage of the standard in. Um, after this, maybe I would say uh, I would give these names as a standard input to another command and get those names and uh, maybe use the mail command to send a standard message uh, to these users, and things like that. I can actually manipulate these files. Uh, and by redirecting the right outputs to the right files, I can um, use that as uh, to generate a data set for using in a yet another operation. But how do redirects work? Another thing I want to show you is groups of commands executing together and redirect applying to the command that it gets coupled with. Um, to command two strings together, I can say pwd and, uh, and then um, execute ls minus l right after that. If I use the semicolon operator or character after pwd, it says execute pwd and right after that uh, execute ls minus l. It's like uh, typing two of these commands one after another on the shell. So I'll see two outputs here. Right? I'll see uh, the output of PWC, PWD, and then I'll see the output of uh, the ls minus l operation that we just typed. Now let's say I want to redirect the output that I've seen from these two commands into a file called out.txt. Just think a second. What would you expect to see in the standard out? What you will actually see is the output of the first command, because this redirect operator here with out.txt only applies to the command it's uh, bundled with. If you want all of these outputs um, to go into out.txt, both pwd and ls minus l outputs, uh, we'll put them in a parenthesis. So I can say ls minus l, and then redirect that to out.txt. And now, if I cat out.txt, I'll see all the outputs of these two commands uh, were redirected to that out.txt. 
So we are actually uh, creating a composite command with, uh, by stitching together these two commands and putting them uh, in those parentheses. There is one last interesting thing I'd like to show you about um, a construct in Unix that we use. Uh, we can actually suppress these redirected outputs by sending it to the null device. It's like slash dev slash null. Um, so in this example, I could have just said instead of out.txt, I could have just said send the output to dev slash dev slash null to dev null. And it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to be ignored. It's not going to be seen on standard out, and it's not going to go to a particular uh, text file. So there's a Unix programmer's joke. If you want to ignore somebody, you would just tell them I'm redirecting you to dev null, and this is uh, where this comes from. So we just reviewed standard I.O. and redirections. I hope you'll be able to exercise with these redirects more on your own. And in the next video, we'll review some other interesting Unix features.